Alaska, The Final Frontier, part three. We went dog sledding, and we didn't just go dog sledding. We went to Dallas CV's dog ranch. Here's the thing. Look up AK Sled Dog Tours, and you will find Dallas CV's dogs. We mushed with some of his winning dogs. His dog, Steger, is one of the winners of the Iditarod. I met Diesel, who was the Golden Harness recipient in 2012, and you'll meet him in this video, and I actually threw my GoPro on one of the staff members named Elliot as he unhooked the dogs and brought them back to their pens and hooked them back up on their lines. So I hope you enjoy this. This is probably one of my favorite parts of the entire trip to Alaska. So if you're out there, if you're heading out to Alaska, I highly recommend you hit up these guys and go dog sledding with them. Very, very cool experience. Dallas, I hope to come back and film a full documentary about you, man. It would be an absolute honor. Okay, so let me just read this to you because it's hilarious. <laughs> I know that the activity is risky and that by participating in the activity, I might be injured physically or emotionally. I, I could die. die. <laughs> I might injure someone else. My property or someone else's property might be damaged. But I voluntarily choose to participate in the activity because these risks, because these risks make the activity more fun and exciting and can't be eliminated without taking away the enjoyment of the activity. Okay. They're just very blunt about it. Okay, it. When he was like, you'll get to hold the puppies, I was like, ah! My phone? Yeah. Yeah? What did it say? It said, please update on the map. Yeah, lots to say, but I don't think I can fly it here. It's telling me I'm in a no-fly zone for some reason. Probably because the train tracks. Hold on, we'll find out. It's also raining, so it's not really good conditions. But I'll be really sad. We're in a class E right now. What's that mean? It's just one of the different types of zones for airports. Oh, because there's a fucking airport here. Duh. <laughs> the home point has been updated. I can't fly it. Well, that sucks. But what are you going to do? There will always be next time. I don't know time. how they blame people for these things when they're so regulated. They're way more regulated than I thought they would be up here. Like, literally, I didn't think they would have all this You know what, this whole, fencing. I bet you 80% of this state has it. They don't let billboards, like, they're just like, no. They're just on their shit. We're gonna make a no-fly zone everywhere. We they're just, don't wanna deal with this they're later. on their shit. They're very smart, though. So, right now, I'm at a frozen lake, and we were told not to walk on the lake, which is, obviously, you shouldn't walk on a frozen lake. You just shouldn't walk on a lake. You're not Jesus, so don't walk on the lake. But, uh, this whole thing is frozen over, and we're in this really tiny town called Talkeetna. And we're going dog sledding today, and I'm super pumped about it. But I'm pretty sure I'm standing in in the lake right now. So I'm gonna move. So this freight sled was used if you lived on a homestead like we do. You want to move firewood, dogs will pull firewood. You shoot a moose on your land and cut it up, you know, 600 pounds of moose meat. It's heavy for you, mm -hmm. not for sled dogs. And plus, guess what? They have a bunch of snacks all of a sudden now. Um, these dogs have wolf diets as well. They eat raw beef, raw chicken, and raw salmon. If you were given a house dog what a sled dog eats, call it pork chop in two days. Yeah. Um, and then these are a few race sleds, but your sled is very similar to this. Um, you have a seat. That's the big difference. This is called a tour sled. Um, yours, someone's going to be riding and someone's going to be driving. If you're the rider, watch the deck. It's a little slippery, so just sit down first. Slide your feet on. Hold on for dear life. <clears throat> Paparazzi. All right? Fluffy butt pictures, videos, all that good stuff. Um, if you're mushing, your hands need to stay glued to the handlebars at all times. You're the captain of the ship. If the ship goes down, you're not letting go. You gotta hang on the entire time. Losing a dog team is a big no-no as a musher. You don't ever wanna lose your dog team, all right? So hold on to this with all you can, regardless of what's going on. Be oh. dragged face first down the trail, don't let go. <laughs> okay. <laughs> they okay, will stop Elliot. at some point, yeah. <laughs> we won't let go. Yeah, don't let go, that's <laughs> let a big go. one. Life don't let go. Dead. Don't let yeah, go. Yeah, don't let go, just hold on the whole time. 
These dogs, they run very fast when they're not in a harness and not on the line. We don't let them do that. They're marathon runners, they don't sprint. So, to slow your dog team down, you have to use this drag mat. You're gonna have one foot, light pressure on this almost the entire time. What it does is it um, slows them down at their appropriate speed, and it also keeps the team spaced out more evenly. Yeah. You look scared. No. Okay, I was, like, <laughs> I was like, oh God, what am I getting myself into? You ready? We're gonna go cuddle dogs first. All, All right, right, let's go into the dog yard. <laughs> this shoot right here would be all 22 of Dallas's race dogs, but they're currently in Norway. Dallas is racing the Finnmark, which is Europe's longest race. Um, Dallas has won the Iditarod four times. He's won the Yukon Quest, his very first try. He raced the Finnmark last year and got third place. So right now, we're, the Finnmark's actively going on. Dallas is in third. Um, so, it, but it's the race is still young. They're not even halfway. I just want to jump in real quick and tell you guys that Dallas actually had to pull out of this race. This is the first race he's ever pulled out of. Some of his dogs got a virus and he didn't want to subject them to having to race while being sick. So he did the right thing, I believe, and he pulled out of the race. But there's always next year and maybe I'll get to uh, film Dallas CV do the 2020 Iditarod. Or the race in Norway it would be really cool to film for Dallas. Um, I'm gonna set a goal. I'm gonna set a goal for that. So they are at races now and they're just like, why aren't we going faster? As a musher, you're just like, please slow down. You got a lot of running to do. So these will be the race dogs. These are all the two-year-olds. The two-year-olds are gonna end up being recruited at the age of three for Dallas's race team. What Dallas does is he takes all the two-year-olds out mushing and picks the best of the best for the race team when they're three. If they're exceptional, he'll even take them as a two-year-old. Um, this cute boy, he's only 10 months old. Um, and he is the only puppy in his litter. His mom keeps popping out one big, beautiful male. And then she was bred two years ago. Boom. One hey, Popo. big, beautiful male. Hey, hey, hey. So now, well, the mom is pregnant. Guess what? One big, hey. beautiful male is right now brewing in her belly. Wow. Um, and then this shoe right here, these are all of our tour dogs. And then this shoot over here are all our yearlings. Myself and Isabel, the guide who's gonna take you on a mush, we're responsible for training the one-year-olds. So what happens is the person that runs the two-year-old race team is gonna take all the one-year-olds out and pick the best of the one-year-olds for the two-year-old race team at the end of the winter. So they're basically always competing in a tournament to get to the big yes, race. Yes, the race team. Cool. You wanna be a race dog. Right. Because you get pedicures, every day <laughs> and you get the best food they eat very different food and they have a very different diet than all the other dogs wow. um you know because they're going on 300 mile training runs um now where these dogs are at is they're going to be up to 20 miles by the end of winter just at a year old they're kindergartners yeah essentially yeah um, um diesel was the golden harness recipient in 2012 golden harness gets awarded the best lead dog of the entire sled dog race so we're talking 700 to a thousand dogs and they pick one wow well that's the one right there so we're gonna come on into oh puppies um, anything dangling shoelaces furry boots they will bite they have raptor claws and piranha teeth so let's go on in there <laughs> um, we'll say hi to him and cuddle him. There you go. Oh, there you go. Yes. Who's the pup? Yes. Who's the pup? Who's the pup? Yes, yes, yes. Hi, 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 Wake you up. Oh, I'm gonna pick you up. I'm gonna pick you up, boop boop. I'm gonna pick you up. Yeah, I'm gonna pick you up. Oh, thank you. Thank you. You want a picture? So sweet. Totally. Yeah. Always. <laughs> so we nicknamed him Popsicle Puppy because he's a little popsicle. And he's, you know, he's knocking at the all working together. Oh, yeah. I guess told you. Oh, you what are you doing? Um, Are you being shy?
boop, 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 boop. There's a boop. Oh, that's fine. Oh, 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 right oh, I hit him. No <laughs> the only thing we've given the nickname was the popsicle puppy. Um, so we're always open to suggestions, you know, always. There's only one that's a playful. He's a, he's a little, he wants to find a string on your shirt. Oh, yeah. Any so dangling for. thing. Right? The puppies, anything they're not supposed of to have, course. they're going to go for. Remote control. They're like children. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Their dad is actually one of Dallas's leaders in Norway right now. Oh, wow. Um, and then their mama, she was a good, she was a good, she just wasn't great. You know, after that stunt that she pulled with the popsicle puppy, um, we brought her inside into a kennel. Oh, you found something to chew on. Or more. And then you Andrew found something to chew on. To take them into the, his house and get fit. And to be a part of that. Oh my yeah. goodness, you too. Yeah, so that. photogenic. Moses! And they're, yeah, and they're lead dogs. But yeah, her I'm so fucking glad we're doing this right now. Me too. But you know how to turn, that, right? I'm just riding the brake. All right. Thanks, man. Are we stuck? Go. Mush. <laughs> I feel like I'm at like a theme park. Riding a ride, yeah, that's been carved out by nature. Right, that I and there's nobody we're in used front to of me. Fake snow, but this is actually real. This is real ass snow. Okay, so right now I'm on the sled. Lisa's driving the sled. It's beautiful out here. 
They're dogs. They're pulling us. We played with puppies. It's just been a great time. I'm having a great time making content for you. Thank you for bringing me with oh you my God. to create I'm this so content. Glad you would come with me on this trip. <laughs> it's not an easy trip to get people to agree to. Not everybody wants to do extreme sports. <laughs> <laughs> All I want to do is extreme sports. I, Let's go. When I met you, I was like, this is a match made in heaven. <laughs> Twelve more hours Me right too. now. Let's go. That's nice. Let's go. It's so peaceful back there. Let's go to Denali and back. I what do you say? It's <laughs> all chaotic and bark, 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 and then you hit the trail. Good dogs. Good dogs. You did so good. Good dogs. Good dogs. Good dogs. You did good dogs. You did good dogs. You did good dogs. Thank you. That was such a good run. You such a good run. It's a good dog. You did so good. You did so good. You did so good. Good pops. Good pops. Good pops. Good pops. You guys, these are legends right here. It's a good dog. Moses is having a great discussion. Moses, I've seen you in movies. <laughs> Guys, these are legendary dogs right here. Most of them. Some of them didn't even race, but a lot of them were on Dallas's team at one point or another. Come here, Diesel. So this is Diesel. Diesel is one of Dallas's race dogs. One of his older race dogs. And he's a good boy. He's a good boy, Diesel. He's a good boy. If you guys don't know anything about Dallas, there's so many documentaries you should watch. Dude Like Hell did an amazing one about the Iditarod a couple years ago. I'll link it down below if you guys want to check it out. But this, this is a really cool experience. Hi, Diesel. Beetle, 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 beetle. Oh, beetle. 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 Moses. Moses. Yeah, I'll get these. I'm just gonna unhook our these rescue dogs. Hi, Sipper. Hi, Sippy. Good girl. Come here, pretty girl. Yeah. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. Good girl. Other paw. Good girl. Good girl. Good girl. Okay. Good girl. Come on. Let's go home. Let's go home. Good girl. Let's go home. Good girl. Good girl. Is this where you live, Sippy? Good girl. Good girl. Here, let's get this off. There we go. Shake. Good boy, Tide. Good boy. Oh, dude, you cuddle bug. Elliot. Yeah. Will you introduce YouTube to these dogs? Because I know some of them from documentaries and movies. Oh yeah, yeah. But I know some of these people don't know who they are. Course, so I would love, I would love your uh, insight. Yeah. So this is East, and her brothers are North and West, 
and right now her brothers are leading Dallas's race team in Norway. Um, East is a four-year-old. She's one of our tour dogs. And um, her favorite thing is rolling around in the snow. Oh, I love winter and I love dogs. I love animals. That was a big thing about coming out here and working with sled dogs is, you know, you have a job where you get to be outside all day and work with these amazing athletes. Um, and Dallas, he is just, he's great to work for. He has got dogs and sled dogs dialed. Um, to work at this kennel, it's one of the best kennels in the world, really. Well, that was dope. Thank you for the yeah, experience, thank you. man. Thank you. Yeah, thanks for coming out. Of course. Good job, East. You're such a good girl. Weren't those the cutest puppies? All right, so the next thing we did, the last thing we did, our last activity was go up in a helicopter. What a way to close out the Alaska trip. Going in a chopper to land on a glacier, and then I flew the drone on the glacier. So, oh, I also wore the Spider-Man suit. If you guys don't know, I dress up as Spider-Girl. I cosplay. Um, there's a whole story about why I do it down in the description if you guys want to check it out. And this was definitely the epitome of this trip. It was absolutely incredible. I hope you guys enjoyed this section of the video, and I will see you again at the end. Spider-Man Glacier. Spider-Man Glacier. Spider Glacier. That's right. Oh, there's one of those holes that I thought about right there. You can see that depression. Right there is a little, I wouldn't yep. step in there. Oh, yep. Yep. Nope. Will not do that. Got it? You got everything you need? Yep. I'm going to grab my drone, drone? out. Yeah. yeah. Say, oh, yeah, that's right. You need your you bag. I would go to the other side. I need my bag. Side. Other side? Yeah. Let's yeah. Your bags all set up over there. Put your feet, please. That's a nice bag. Yeah, no, thank you. What kind of bag is that? It's from this company called Wandered. They uh, really? they did a Kickstarter for twenty grand and they got two hundred fifty thousand dollars for this bag. Dang. I, yeah. Man, I am it's so amazing. obsessed with backpacks. I just bought another one. This one's waterproof. I know. It's exactly it's everything what I was proof. looking for. Yeah, they're like one hundred seventy bucks. We'll it's write a shout for you. Yeah. Yeah. They I just guess. they just came out with a new one too.
Did you hop up, Jay? I just, I just did. I don't know. I'm Spider-Man. Exactly. <laughs> like, what do you mean? I think it's all the pair of pants we'll have on. Yeah. yeah. And then we got one more beside you. Let me go next. You got it. This has been Alaska, The Final Frontier, part three. I hope you guys enjoyed checking it out. If you guys are headed to Alaska, I hope you check off some of these boxes and you do the activities that we did in, this, in these videos. If you guys missed any of the last episodes, go back, go down in the description. There's an eye in the sky as well. Click on another video, watch something else. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe for more adventures like this. Lots of travel happening this year. A lot of stock footage. You guys can actually license my footage through Adobe Stock or Shutterstock or Pond5 or whatever you have a subscription with. Check it out. And if you guys are trying to get into editing your own videos while you are out there exploring, check out the Adobe Creative Cloud. There's going to be a link to some discounts down below so you guys can get started editing your own stuff. Thank you for checking this out. Stay strong, keep enduring, and I will see you guys in the next video.